Hello friends, this video on sound part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 6. The sound from a mosquito is produced when it vibrates its wings at an average rate of 500 vibrations per second. So what is the time period of the vibration? So in this case, what is given? The number of oscillations that is taking place over per unit time is given as 500. So what is this 500? This is nothing but your frequency. So your frequency which we normally denote as nu is given as 500 vibrations per second. So now we know how many oscillations are taking place in one second. So what are we supposed to find? We have to calculate the time period. What is time period? It is the time for one oscillation or one vibration in this case, right? So let us see how do we find this? So this is going to be 1 by nu. Why so? That's because if you see here for 500 vibrations, it takes 1 second. So how much time will it take for 1 vibration? It is going to take 1 by 500 seconds. So you reached the same thing basically. So either you use it this way or you do it this way. So it is going to be all the same. So it comes out to be 0 0.002 seconds. So this is the time period of vibration. Identify the part which vibrates to produce sound in the following instruments. So here we have dolak, sitar and flute. Now as I have mentioned before also in case of dolak we have this membrane which is a stretched membrane and whenever a person beats on this membrane it vibrates and produces sound. So the stretched membrane is the vibrating part in a dholak. Now what about the sitar? In sitar we have the stretched strings and these strings when they are plucked they vibrate and they produce sound. Now and in case of flute it is nothing but a hollow pipe actually, but you have holes on the body of the instrument. So when you blow air through these holes, the air column inside starts vibrating and due to the vibration of the air column, so air column vibrates inside and this vibration produces sound. Question number eight. What is the difference between noise and music? Can music become noise sometimes? Yes, of course, that is possible. So anything that is pleasant to hear, that is music and anything which is undesired and unpleasant is noise. Look at these examples. Unnecessary honking of vehicles on the road is, of course, noise. The sound produced by bursting of crackers is again noise. When, in fact, your music can also turn into a noise when it is played at extremely high volumes. Like even if you go to a discotheque or a nightclub, maybe for the first couple of minutes or the first couple of hours, you might enjoy the loud music. But after that, it, in most many people, it causes headache. Some of them uh, feel restlessness. Some of them uh, do not feel irritated with that loud music. So music can also become noise if it is played at extremely large volume for a very long period of time. Question number nine. Your parents are going to buy a house. They have been offered one on the roadside and another three lanes away from the roadside. Which house would you suggest your parents should buy? Explain your answer. So now look at, I mean, how the houses would be on the roadside. So the road will be full of vehicles and most of the time you will be able to hear the honking of vehicles. So if your house is on the roadside, you are more exposed to noise pollution. Therefore, the house which is three lanes away would be preferred because here there is less noise pollution. So you can lead a peaceful life in this house. Question number 10. Sketch larynx and explain its function in your own words. So where is larynx located? It is located on the upper part of the trachea. So as you can see here, this is larynx. It is called the voice box because it is responsible for production of voice and how it produces voice with the help of the vocal cords which is present inside the larynx. So there are two true vocal cords which are present and a gap created between the two vocal cords allow passage of air. So here you can see 
these are the two vocal cords the blue colored structures which you see here now when they open they allow air to pass through this into the trachea so this is how the scenario is when we breathe but when we speak air is forced into the small gap by lungs so here you see that that time they almost tend to close so the opening has decreased so here through this small gap air is forced to pass the vocal cords will vibrate and these vibration of the vocal cords will produce sound so vibration of vocal cords produces sound question number 11 Lightning and thunder take place in the sky at the same time and at the same distance from us. Lightning is seen earlier and thunder is heard later. Can you explain? Now you would have seen it is a very common phenomenon which I am sure all of you would have come across. You now when it rains heavily, you would have seen that the lightning is seen first and only after that you hear the sound of thunder. That's because both light and sound are waves. and they need medium for their propagation now light travels faster than sound if you compare the speed of light and sound there is a huge difference the speed of sound is around 330 meter per second through air whereas the speed of light is around 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second so there is a huge difference between the speeds of the two now since the speed of light is more so light wins the race so light reaches the destination before and we are able to see the lightning before followed by the sound of the thunder so with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson and i hope that this lesson on sound would have helped you to gain an understanding on the basics uh, so uh, please uh, focus on the concepts and then see you all in the next lesson thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates Thank you once again.